We are back in Pennsylvania from our trip to Barbados, which was an absolutely amazing time. One day we took a six hour taxi tour around the island and got to see all these different beaches. We also got to visit Bridgetown and we got to try local rum. And we also got to try macaroni pie, which was fantastic. We also spent a lot of time hanging out on the beaches and our room even had a private pool. I have made several videos from this trip. Links to those videos are in the description. But the most amazing thing about this trip is that it did not cost a dime to get to Barbados. And no, we didn't use points or miles. Now a lot of people tell me, Lincoln, I wish I could travel like you do, and they always follow that up with like a laundry list of excuses, ranging from, I can't find someone to watch my dogs, I have kids, I can't afford it, I can't get the time off. There's always a laundry list of excuses, but the overriding factor is usually one thing, and that's that they can't afford it. People seem to think that travel is this really expensive thing. It really does not have to be. It's only expensive if you make it expensive. If it's too expensive, you just don't go, you go somewhere else. A great example of this is that our flights to Barbados were free. And how did we do that? Like I said, no points, no miles, no special offers or anything like that. This was just all about being patient, being flexible and really spending a lot of time looking for the right deal. We spent about two weeks time looking for trips. We had a budget of $2,000. We didn't want to spend anything else other than 2,000 or below and we wanted to go to the Caribbean. So we spent two weeks scouring the internet for great deals to the Caribbean and for this particular time frame that we went, which was in early April 2019, it was just really, really expensive. So like I said, for about two weeks, my wife Holly and I looked all over the internet from like your traditional airline website like Delta.com to hotel websites like Hilton.com to even Hotwire, Expedia, and Travelocity, that sort of thing. And at some point I'd come across the Crane Barbados, which is where we stay, and I looked at their website and I saw that hotels, for the time we'd be there, the rooms would be about 1500 bucks. And I was interested because it's a cool resort. And so I went to search and find out what the cheapest flight was, which yielded JetBlue. That was about a thousand, so that put us at 2500 bucks, which was too much money for our $2,000 budget. So I kind of just pushed that to the side. I'm like, never mind. So I kept looking and inevitably I was sitting there thinking about it. I was like, you know what? Let me check Hotwire for a bundled vacation to Barbados and let's see what we can find. So I looked it up and lo and behold, there it is. The Crane Barbados listed on that page is $1,500. And guess what? The flights were free. The flights were included. It literally said, if you book the Crane Barbados, the flights are free. Now to the average person, this just may look like, hey, Lincoln got a good deal, it took him five minutes to book it. But the reality is, is that this result of us saving a thousand bucks and getting the flights for free was weeks of hard work. It was weeks of looking for a good deal and also being flexible. You know, we were flexible on the dates where we were going and a lot of people just aren't flexible. They don't want to be flexible. So if you're watching my videos and thinking, boy, I really wish I could travel like Lincoln, you can. You just got to be flexible and keep an open mind. By the way, if you're planning a family vacation for this summer or any time in the future, stay tuned. I've got a video coming out in the very near future that was shot at the largest children's museum in the world. And hit subscribe to follow my travels and learn how you can travel more too.